Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's safe to say that Matthew Bowling is officially a track and field superstar. On January 29th at the Arkansas Razorback Invitational, this sprinting prodigy has once again completely outdone himself. With a fantastic time of 20.53 seconds, he has now achieved the second fastest time in the world this year for the 200 meters. Just one week ago on January 23rd, he ran a 400 meter time of 45.51. This performance was certainly impressive, but this 200 meter dash just might be his greatest performance ever. According to the World Athletics Ranking System, this 200 meter time falls just one point short of his 400 meter ranking, but just like his previous 400, this was his very first 200 meter race in almost a year. These times just don't happen for someone who hasn't raced in almost 12 months, so I cannot help but think that he is completely ready for 2021. Throughout this entire race, Bowling was absolutely motoring. Down the back stretch, he reached his top end speed extremely quickly, and coming down the home stretch, he looked strong and once again determined. This time is not only the second fastest time in the world this year, but it's also a new school record, a new personal best, and wouldn't you know it, this time would have placed first in almost every single installment of the Indoor World Championships. Indeed, Bowling has started his 2021 campaign on fire, but what times could Bowling achieve right now if he were to run in an outdoor race as opposed to these indoor performances? Now, there's no exact way to translate an indoor time to an outdoor performance, but what is clear is that athletes are able to run much faster in outdoor events. For the 200 and the 400 meters, athletes tend to run about half a second faster for the 200 and one whole second faster for the 400 if they're running outdoors. Because of this, it's fair to assume that Matthew Bowling, right now, could run a 200 meters in approximately 20.03 seconds and a 400 meters right around 44.51. Both of these times would be fantastic, but more importantly, they would also make him a clear contender for the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. Now, it is important to mention that he ran this new 200 meter time on a banked track, which is when the actual track surface dips around every corner, giving the athletes a slight speed push in comparison to a flat track. Perhaps this improved his overall time by a tenth of a second, or maybe two tenths at most, but either way, this performance was unquestionably amazing. In comparison to previous indoor 200 meter races, there is one specific performance that makes this time even more impressive. Back in 1991, Michael Johnson ran an indoor 200 meter best of 20.55 seconds. Indeed, this time is only two one hundredths of a second slower than bowling, but either way, it was slower than bowling's time, and later that year, Johnson went on to win the World Championships, and he also ended his season with a new personal best of 19.88 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, it is entirely possible that later this season, we could see Matthew Bowling run under 20 seconds for the 200 meters. However, only time will tell just how fast he'll run. And now I want to pass the question off to you guys. How fast do you think Bowling will run this year in both the 200 and the 400 meters? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.